let's talk about President Muhammad Buhari's New Year speech to Nigerians in light of the Buhaha, if you will, that is emanated from it. The PDP is saying that the president should know he isn't coming back. They specifically said that he should withdraw his unnecessary remarks about standing down in 2023. Yabai Gisani is the former presidential candidate of the Action Democratic Party, the ADP. He joins us from Abuja Studios as well as Wale Martins, the National Publicity Secretary of the Young Progressive Party. Thank you both gentlemen for joining us on State of the Nation. Let's start with you, Mr. Yabagi. Some say that President Buhari actually nailed it in light of the so many achievements of the APC in terms of the economy, uh, vision of getting 100 people, million people out of poverty uh, within the next 10 years. Surely you must agree with these views being a presidential candidate yourself in the 2019 presidential elections. Yeah, thank you, Gimba. I, I think uh, uh, Mr. President was uh, trying to see how he can, uh, uh, let's say, push the start button of how to get Nigerians to be on the same page with him. Uh, having uh, lost so much ground in the first term, and I think they're still, he's still very far away from what I would have expected that Mr. President would tell Nigerians. Because the economy is it. The economy is the issue that is at the, at the, at the, uh, uh, is the, is the bane of, our, of our, all our problems that we have in this country. And it is the same narrative that Mr. President came out to tell Nigerians that I will get 100 million people out of uh, uh, joblessness you know, by, in 10 years' time. And I will uh, tackle the security issue. I will fight corruption. Yes, I will. I will. Yes. But, you know, what Nigerians are looking for is empirical data as to what Mr. President achieved in the last four years and something to cheer us up that, yes, Mr. President, this time around, is, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is on top of the, on the, of the, of the situation. I, I, I want to at least congratulate him for one thing. We are still one united nation. And we're a country that is of great promise in terms of our resources, in terms of our, the promise of this country, in, uh, human capital, natural resources, and things like that. And I, I also want to congratulate, congratulate him for assembling people that I believe, if he had had them before time, before now, would probably have an economic agenda for this country because they had just abandoned the, the, the ERPG, that is the, the recovery program that they came with, and they are now talking about another five years development plan. So it will appear as the administration is still grappling with how to handle the main issue of the Nigerian nation, which is the economy of this country. Unemployment is very growing. The uh, the issue of uh, people uh, out of job, which is the which is the, the 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 main problem that we are having, because youth are roaming the streets without jobs, and the the, the fact that the economy itself is not growing at the rate that the capacity what it what is supposed to grow. If you have an economy whose population is growing at two point five percent, and your your about three percent actually. And your GDP is growing at less than 2%. That is danger for you. So, and we have not seen any program, really, that addresses the issues where we are having problems. Oil and gas sector is one of them. Security is one of them. You know, border closure, yes. Border closure, I think, I, is I know is that if we have to, uh, uh, we'll get to the point you know, where we are able to perhaps uh, proffer some of the solutions, uh, because I know that you're a very strong critic about uh, uh, some of the the programs of this administration. But let me get the views of uh, Mr. Martins. These are the words of Mr. President when he made that broadcast on New Year Day. He said that, uh, uh, I will be standing down in 2023. I will not be available in any future elections. That gives politicians like yourself, I mean, even Mr. Yabagi that's just uh, sitting just by your side there, a chance in 2023. As a matter of fact, this should make you happy. Is that the case? <clears throat> well, whether Mr. President um, came out emphatically to say he will not be contesting or not, uh, we have always said as a party, we've stated that it's irrelevant because the constitution as it stands today only prescribed two terms for a president. And as we are aware, the constitution has not, has not been amended to um, um, give uh, room for uh, uh, um, another term. 
So it should not even be the, the, uh, an issue uh, you know, in the front burner of Nigerian politics. But that said, I, I, let, let, me, let me just start by commending Mr. President for um, coming out to write you know, a letter to Nigerians. At least we, we are happy because the hallmark of effective leadership is communication. Um, that said, we want to appeal that he should do more of communication with the Nigerian people. And then um, for um, bordering on his letter, I, I want to say clearly here that um, the, 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 the APC should stop behaving as if they are still in the opposition. They are not in government. Let the civil society and other political parties take up the job of being an opposition. When we want, when, when, when the government is ruling out their achievements, we, want, we don't want to be hearing, uh, we, will. we will. We will do what? We want to hear what they have achieved. As it stands today, they came, you know, they rode on the tripod of um, economy, um, fighting corruption, and also tackling the issue of insecurity. I want to tell you today that on the issue of economy, we are classified as the poverty capital of the world. That is the reality, and we should face this reality. You know, you, 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 you cannot say the economy is growing at a rate of 2.3. So look for, if you want to look at the factors that characterize the Mr. developing Martins, economy. Mr. Martin, if, if I may just come in here and I'll very, ask you very quickly, do you, do you believe, as so many people do, that uh, this administration has the capacity to get at least um, one million people out of poverty every year for the next 10 years? You see, um, Mr. President should start matching action. I mean, act, matching we, uh, action with words. Now, if you are saying you want to get 10 million people out of poverty in the next um, decade, what are the visible plans on ground to do that? They are not. Do comparative analysis of the growth or the achievements of this uh, um, government in the last five years, and you agree with me that there's nothing on ground to suggest that they have that plan to get Nigerians, 100 million Nigerians, out of poverty. It does not show. As of today, before the president came in, oh, we had over 10.5 million children that are out of school. Today, statistically, it is. 13.2 million, and I can tell you that if we are to update our statistics, we should be talking about 15 million students out of school. Now, if you add that, Since that is even Mr. more Martins, than the If I may just butt in, um, um, it, I apologize it, it, uh, so many. Uh, if I may just butt in and get the views of Mr. Yabagi on this very important uh, aspect of it. Uh, the president said that our actions at all times will be governed by the rule of law. Is that currently happening in your view? Well, I think, I think uh, we, well, I would take that as a pinch of salt in the sense that uh, the release of Sowere and uh, the Suki, uh, to me, that does not translate to uh, the rule of law uh, regime coming in. I think what is important is what happens from now on, because those cases already were cases that everybody believed the, the government had no alternative but to obey. The, the, court, the, the court rulings. But one thing for me that I think Mr. President said, which was cheering to me, is the fact that he says he's going to leave a legacy of a credible, fair, and uh, 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 free elections you know, for, generation, I mean, for, for Nigerians. So, which means I will expect that Mr. President to be on top of the issue of getting the amended electoral law you know, passed by the National Assembly. Because the issue is this. The National Assembly members you have today, unfortunately, are beneficiaries of a corrupt you know, system. And that is why Mr. President wants to change. Fortunately for us, Mr. President is the only person today in Nigeria that does not have any collateral interest, it's something to gain from the elections that are going to take place you know, from now on. So I expect him to have that enduring legacy you know, behind after he left the scene. So my, 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 that's why I said what is cheering to me is that he came out to say that he is going to leave a system that can be trusted and can be relied upon for a credible, reliable you know, uh, election. Because that is very important. That is also at the, at will you, the, at will the, you be at running the, the button. My apologies. Of will you be running? Your will you be running right, for president? Getting corruption to, you know. I I, uh, I know that uh, perhaps you have to go through the primaries, but let me just ask you: Are you still interested in running for the president of this country in 2023?
Well, I mean, I mean, the, the issue is that, you know, as a politician and as somebody who's running a political party, of course, I want my party to win the next election, which is 2023. And that is what we already we are, we are preparing to, to ensure we engage Nigerians effectively to know that time has come for a new order. A new order because not PDP, not APC, because all of them have failed Nigerians woefully. And nobody can come out. I don't know what more they have to. If you don't have something, you, don't, if you can't give what you don't have. They don't have solutions for this country. And parties like Action Democratic Party has the credible alternative of people that are, that are, are, are on top of the situation in terms of knowledge, in terms of experience, in terms of exposure. This I'm country afraid, is a country I'm, of I'm afraid that uh, that's where we'll have to uh, drop the curtains. I must sincerely uh, apologize to both of you gentlemen. Uh, for sake of time, we have to bring the show to a close. I must thank you as well, uh, Mr. Uh, Yabagi Sani, he is indeed the presidential, former presidential candidate of the Action Democratic Party, the ADP, as well as Wally Martins, the National Publicity Secretary of the YPP, that's the Young Progressive Party. Thank you both, gentlemen, for sharing your views on Mr. President's New Year message to Nigerians and uh, having that little time to decipher what it means to Nigerians. And to you, as a part of the show, many thanks indeed for watching. I'm Gimba Umar. This is State of the Nation. Bye for now.